It's 2021 and I've been arguing with my girlfriend non-stop about complete and utter nonsense for the past hour. And I'm getting incredibly frustrated because this isn't the first time we've had this kind of conversation and it feels like it just comes out of nowhere and I'm getting so worked up giving her all these reasons why her perspectives are incorrect and nothing's working. To top it all off, the intimate side of the relationship has been dwindling and causing me even more frustration. This girl has already been part of my life for over five years and not only am I about to lose her, but I would have no clue how to attract and keep another girl as high quality as her. Before I dive in further, I want to let you know that this is not one of those typical red pill dating game type videos where they tell you, you need to make this much money, you need to sleep with this many girls, you need to have this many side girls, you need to drive this kind of car, you need to treat her this way, and maybe, just maybe, you'll get to see the nip of a trashy Miami hoe. And don't get me wrong, there's plenty of nuggets of true advice that give you insights on the nature of men and women but in this video i am going to share you the exact principles the traits the mindset you can adopt to not only draw women towards you but ensure that they will want to stay a part of your life forever and once i understood these things and began enacting it my relationship did a complete 180. it went from her arguing with me all the time, considering moving out and getting her own place, to becoming completely obsessed with me, she's more feminine and fun than she's ever been in the past, the intimate side of the relationship is fantastic, and we have never had one of those kinds of arguments since that point. And I'm not saying this to flex, I'm saying that this is the reality that one can achieve when you adopt these principles. I am not special, I'm a very average looking guy who makes very average amounts of money right now. In the future, I'm gonna make money, I'm gonna get rich, you know what I'm saying? I discovered and followed these seven steps. By the way, fair warning, if you do all these, your partner might beg you to marry them, which I guess that's a good problem to have. So, step one, and I made this the first one because this alone is going to get you so far. You need to have a North Star. That kind of rhymed. Your North Star is the core goal, your vision for the future, that you are pursuing above everything else including her. And if you're watching this and you don't have much ambition in life, well, one, it's going to make things infinitely harder in the dating world, and two, perhaps your priority shouldn't be dating. It is perhaps one of the most masculine things you could be portraying in the day-to-day. -day. There is something you want and you are relentlessly pursuing it with every fiber of your being, and you have to ensure that she sees that. She needs to be aware of what's going on. There's this common red pill notion that people throw around that, oh, women just wait at the finish line and, and pick the winner. That's not the case whatsoever. There are plenty of good girls out there that will gladly hop in the passenger seat with you if they see you actively trying to win the race. But you have to actively be making progress towards this. She needs to be able to see you changing. It's like if you were to buy a stock and the stock doesn't budge for years. The longer that time goes on, the more likely you're going to want to sell the stock. So be sure you're actively progressing and make sure she sees it. Don't let her just see you yap about your goals and then play Fortnite for three hours. Which ties into step two, which if you don't do step two, step one doesn't matter. You need to have delusional levels of self-assurance. If you are displaying that you have an almost hypnotic level of confidence that you are going to achieve what you set out to achieve and you're not going to stop, she will in turn become hypnotized by that as well. Now, of course, this is a little harder because it involves your self-image, which I have videos talking about that, but essentially what you need to do is you need to take your ideal self, the version of yourself you want to be, the version of yourself that is required to reach those goals that you have, and your current self, which there's go they're not going to be aligned, there's going to be a gap, and just work on closing the gap. You don't have to even fully close it because it takes time, but just the act of closing the gap is going to exponentially explode your self-assurance and confidence. It's like when I used to get bullied for being skinny, right? And it just, it would get me so upset. I would get so triggered because kids would be like, oh, look at you. You're just skin and bones, skinny, skinny, ha ha. But then as soon as I got in the gym and knew I was going to stick to it and knew I was going to make changes in the long term, those comments did absolutely nothing to me. Also, just the confidence itself is going to make people magnetize towards you, men and women. And when you do attract said women, you need to start implementing step three, and that is treat attention 
like currency. Humans in general have a psychological need for attention. I mean, if you took someone and put them in a social deprivation chamber, they would lose their minds and start talking to themselves and seeing things, they would go psycho. But because of biological factors, women tend to value attention even higher than men do. So when you're navigating a relationship for a woman, you can kind of think of it as if you were an employee. And if an employee is doing bad, you wouldn't pay them more. But if an employee is doing really well, you would pay them more. Same with attention. You need to know how to give a lot of attention at certain times in a relationship and pull it away at certain times based on their behavior. And I'm not saying this in a manipulative way. It's just human nature. It is just psychology. And most importantly, because it's like a currency, you need to avoid inflation. If you give away so much attention nonstop, the value of it is going to plummet into nothing. Sometimes women are just going to test you or poke your buttons in order to get attention, even if it's negative attention. And the best thing you can do in those moments is to just withdraw all of it. Do not let any pennies fall out. I remember once I started undergoing this transformation and she tried to start one of those arguments like the ones in the past. And instead of getting worked up, instead of feeding into it, I just shrugged it off kept doing what I was doing and she just quickly dropped it and then later that night she was all over me. So clearly we didn't need to have that argument. And speaking of emotional responses, then you need to go to step four, which is embrace stoicism. This is like masculinity 101. As men, we tend to default to a more steady equilibrium of emotions while women tend to be more of a roller coaster. They like the ups and downs, but do not get sucked into the ride. This is a controversial take, but men and women are different. What is cool for them, these emotional roller coasters, is not cool for you to do. Be the station for her to park at. Be the rock for her waves to crash upon. Do not become another roller coaster, another wave. Because the more you display this trait, the more it's going to light off all these receptors and chemicals in her brain because you are displaying that you are immensely reliable, immensely resistant, which are very high valued traits for a long term male partner. And of course, the best exercise for this is meditation because it builds the mental muscles, the skill, because it's a skill, you can't just all of a sudden decide to be stoic, because in reality, you're just gonna be repressing emotions, you have to build the skill and the ability to observe emotions without identifying with them, and let them pass. And it gets easier and easier and easier, the more you meditate, which is why I have a completely free five day guided meditation series you can check out after this video. It's in the description. Step five is you need to distance yourself from her at times, not all the time. We are not designed to be with our partner 24 seven. And especially nowadays, as a lot of people work from home, it's becoming more and more common to just be with your partner 80 plus percent of the time compared to back in the day when the man would go hunt and be gone all day in return or the woman would go take care of kids or gather berries or whatever. And since we're in the modern age, this is also true for digital presence. Now you should not do what a lot of guys do when they're texting or messaging a girl and be autistically timing your response. I got to wait one hour before I reply or she'll think I'm desperate. You should be organically replying. But since you are working towards your goals, being disciplined, not on your fucking phone 24 seven, there will be periods where she doesn't get a response for hours. And then there might be periods where you respond pretty quickly for a little bit. There is a huge scarcity mindset around women. One, just because men view it as a resource. There's a lot more single guys than single women. So men see it as a scarce thing. And then these red pill gurus that are either trying to get views or sell a course play into that and say, yeah, women are scarce. You really need to buy my course and learn how to do these things. So you can maybe get a woman if you're lucky and get the irony of this while scarcity is just a marketing tactic for them. I don't think they have complete ill evil intentions. The key to being attractive to women and to navigate relationships is having the complete opposite. You need an abundance mindset. And luckily, as you follow these steps and become more confident and be increase your ability to attract women, you're going to naturally get an abundance mindset because you will be fully aware that, well, if something happens, I can attract other high quality girls. But I've seen so many guys, including myself in the past, who they have such a scarcity mindset around their partner and it makes them disgustingly clingy. They have low confidence around other girls. They feel like they have to jump through hoops in order to keep this girl. And it usually ends up in the woman gaining power. There's a shift in the power dynamic of the relationship. 
and the woman becomes the more masculine she can boss him around a little more she can do things and know that he won't leave and his standards kind of drop and it just spells disaster long term for the guy's mental health but also the relationship this is one of the red pill things that is correct women are attracted to guys who have options who can go out and get other high quality women and if she knows that one you can go and attract other girls but two she knows that you know you can do that the dynamic is always in your favor and it will instantly increase her perceived value of you also i forgot to say this whilst recording but stop listening to so much simpy music you are literally programming your subconscious to have an immense scarcity mindset with your partner and finally step seven is just to keep things interesting the last thing you ever want to do to a woman is bore them. I mean, honestly, it's better to trigger them than to bore them. So don't get her flowers every single Friday like clockwork. Don't be the funny guy or the stern guy or the nice guy or the bad guy 24 seven. Switch it up as you would if you were being an authentic human that is very multifaceted and has different personalities depending on different scenarios. And by the way, if you followed what I said earlier by having a goal, continuing to develop yourself, continuing to pursue this better future, you will always be evolving and that will always keep things interesting. There's a video on the screen right now that'll help guide you towards crafting that perfect future vision and goals. But look, if you're struggling with high amounts of insecurity, of lack of discipline, of distraction, then I highly suggest you check out Mental Mastery. Link in the description. It's my full masterclass that will not only make you more attractive to women, but attractive to opportunities, attractive to success, attractive to overall positivity in life. You can see if it's right for you just by clicking the link, reading it, or watching the video. That's it. I hope you learned something. Hope you're inspired. I hope this is a refresher from all of the garbage being spewed out in the dating world. Bye-bye.